Good evening, teacher. Hello, Alpha. Good evening. How are you, Alpha? Good to see you first. <laughs> La primera, right? la plataforma, ¿Qué tal? pero no me, salió, no me salió a donde hay que imprimir el, el ¿cómo se llama? El certificado. el certificado. Eso ya no me salió y le estuve dando y dando uh -huh. y no sé. Este, fíjese que hasta donde yo entiendo el certificado es cuando ya haya terminado todos los módulos. Ah, vaya, yo ya uh -huh. hice el examen final. Ah, vaya, entonces está bien. Eso es más que todo para llevar el eh, si usted pasa al siguiente módulo o se queda, lo tiene que repetir. Uh -huh, más que todo okay. por eso. Y para que se practique, right? Okay. okay. Ok, welcome back, guys. Good to see you. Hello again, Alfa, José Leonardo, and Gloria. Good evening, guys. Ok, so. Remember that this is the last class, right? So you have to finish all the sections from the from the platform. Okay, so yes, keep in mind that because you have to finish the section five in the final test, right? Okay, today is the last day. Okay, guys, so let's go over the lesson. I don't know if you have questions, no sé si hay dudas about um, related to this course, something related to this course. No questions? No? Okay. So, all we're going to have a review today. Vamos a hacer un repaso. What we have studied. Okay, so we're going to have a quiz, right? Short quiz. About what you learn in this module. Okay, let's go. It's going to be a short quiz, right? Para que ustedes, for you to review the topics and uh, you can see what you have to reinforce, right? Second. Okay, can you check the WhatsApp group? Or if not, I'm going to share it. Too. Okay, vámonos entonces, podemos revisar el WhatsApp también. And, uh, si podemos ir a las two. Sí. Ya se los compartí acá. Let me just see the WhatsApp group too. Okay, Gladys, está Gladys, ¿no? Parece que tuvo problemas. ¿Qué dice? Gladys. Okay. Okay, let's go to the quiz. ¿Eso que mando qué es? Vamos a hacer un quiz, un pequeño examen, un review. Tiene que ingresar su nombre. Uh -huh. Tiene que ingresar en el WhatsApp. Deje compartir el enlace en el WhatsApp también acá. Entramos ahorita. Sí, por favor, yes, please. José Leonardo. And you have to write your name, okay? <laughs> Alfa, ya la veo, Alfa. Mario Carlos, too. Mario Carlos. Carlos. José Leonardo Cortés. Mario, is it? Okay, who is Mario? Claro. Are you, uh, Gloria, Mario Claros? Or who's this? Okay, is Ok, let's start. Vamos a empezar entonces. Ok. Ah. 
Ya sabemos qué trae. Tiene que seleccionar una la, la respuesta de acuerdo a la pregunta. Ok, le va a aparecer una. Ajá, exacly. You have to answer. Aparecer ahí la pregunta. I need jobs. My homework. Ahí le va a dar el cuadro. Esa es la pregunta. Esa es la pregunta. ¿Qué, qué estructura va a utilizar? Ahí le, dan, ahí le dan unos verbos. Entonces usted tiene que elegir qué estructura es la que tiene que utilizar. Uh, uh -huh. ¿Apreto aquí en el celular? Sí, ahí es que tiene que darle clic. ¿Ahora que puse eso? Ahí incorrecto, dice. <risa> Ok. ¿Y ahora? Oh, ahora este otro. Yes, ajá, ah, next. Ya, ya voy, ya voy agarrándole. Ajá. Ok, yeah, there you go. I guess Gloria must be Mario, right? I guess, I guess. Ok, let's see. Morena, we are playing a game. If you can join to the link with using the link. You can start. It is in WhatsApp to write. Okay, so let's try it out. Right. Okay, the others, welcome back. We are playing this game. Okay, I see you okay, there, Gloria, too. Okay, uh, you can use the link. Okay, you can use the link, guys. It is in WhatsApp. And I'm also sharing the link in this moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. There you see Jolman, right? I, there must be. Okay, let's see. One person is missing. See?
Okay, congratulations to Johan Alpha and uh, Gloria. Okay, great job, ladies and boys, right? So you did a very good work. Okay, guys. So was it easy? Was it hard? How, how did you? What do you think about the game? In your Hola. case, huh? Está divertido. Yes, right. Era para que ustedes puedan practicar, right? This was the topics that we studied this, uh, this in the previous week, right? Okay, so guys, let's go to the lesson we have for today. It's going to be mainly a review. Se más que todo un review. And uh, let's see what else we can learn. The more we learn, the better. Okay, so we have the quiz, right? We just did it. Remember that we have the questions, right? We started them yesterday. I'm gonna ask some of these ones to you. So let's see, uh, let's start with the winner, right? Jolman. <laughs> What did your parents forbid you to do when you were a child? Mm -hmm. I don't remember, but uh, uh, I guess um, don't, uh, uh, don't, go uh, went out mm -hmm. um, 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 far <laughs> mm -hmm. your parents didn't your parents my parents didn't let me go out too far, let's say, too far. Mm -hmm. Yes, right? Maybe because it was dangerous. If there, there was like danger for you out. Okay, that's good. What about in your case? Let's see, Jose Vega. So what did your parents forbid you to do when you were a child? Mm -hmm. Jose? Hello? No? Okay, what about... There you are, Jose. Go ahead. Sorry, que hmm. tengo un poco de problemas con el inter. Okay, okay, perfect. So let's listen now to, uh, let's see, Gloria. Gloria, uh, what did your parents forbid you to do when you were a child? Mm -hmm. Hay, hay es, eh, consejos en inglés, teacher. Advice. Okay. Advice. Advice. Yep. Every day. Eh, mm -hmm. I need. Eh, I need. I need in my life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your parents advise you. But what things, pero qué cosas did your parents forbid? ¿Qué era lo que les prohibían sus papás, for example, when you were a child? For example, in my case. For example, I, I don't pelear. Oh, yes. I was, I was not allowed to fight. Allowed. Uh -huh. For example, my with my brothers, <laughs> yes. with my friends. <laughs> yes, right. You were not allowed to fight with your family. Yes. yes. Okay. That that's a good one, right? Yeah, for sure. Parents don't want us to fight. Okay, thank you, Gloria. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Okay, and for that one, can you help me? Let's see Adonias. 
How long do you think a person can survive without food? How long, Adonias? Do you think a person can survive? I think that a person um, puede, puede, se me olvida el, el, puede, can, 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 can live o can live, vivir. can survive o can live, mm -hmm. can, can survive, mm -hmm. um, Uh, two days. Can survive two days without food. That can be right. That can be. It can be. Some people Eso say, mm -hmm. yes, right. That depends on your metabolism to arrive of body and your defenses, right? Because there are some people who can't survive a lot. Two days. Mm -hmm. It can be. Okay. Thank you, Adonias. Okay, let's listen now to Jolman. Okay, Jolman number three, it says, what have you managed to achieve despite lots of difficulties? This is a good one. Uh -huh. Yes, Jolman. <clears throat> a pesar, right? Despite, a pesar de las dificultades. ¿Qué es lo que hemos podido alcanzar? Or what were some of the difficulties, right? Huh? Um, I guess... Um, mm -hmm. um, For example, uh, that you are working, right? Working and studying. Yes. That can be a, a really difficult thing, right? Working and studying. What is another, uh, let's see, thing that you have managed to achieve despite lots of difficulties? For example, también podemos decir que qué es lo que hemos alcanzado a pesar de las dificultades. What have you managed to achieve? For example, to learn English, it can be right. A pesar de que eh, trabajamos, right? During the day, we need tired to, to study, right? Um, Any other, German? Mm -hmm. Made a good job. Mm -hmm. Job, right? Yes, the made, job. Made, made a good job. Oh, to do a great job. Yes, that's right. A good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Because maybe if you live far, that is problem too, difficulty, okay? Thank you, Jolman. So let's just choose one. Vamos a escoger one more. Yes, Jose, tell me. Ah, yo le quería contestar también, please. Ah, okay, tell me, tell me, Jose. Uh, uh -huh. um, uh, sería in a pandemic, que a pesar de la pandemia, Mm -hmm. And I manage to continue working and make my, my house. Logré hacer mi casa. Oh, you could Empezar build. La... Oh, okay, this yes. part. Oh, that's a good one. Congratulations. That yes. all the people eh... can do that. Mm -hmm. y... Continue. También I have a my nice song. Oh, congratulations. This is the third time, la tercera vez que yes. le digo. Congratulations. We <laughs> have okay. uh, one, one year. Okay, he is one year. Yes. Oh, 
Okay, that's good. Yes. Okay, that's you it. use yes. that's, that's good. It. Thank you. Okay, that's it. So he says that despite of the pandemic, right? A pesar de la pandemia, eh, Jose, right? On um, yes, Jose could build his house, right? Yes, and that's incredible that that all people can do this, right? Uh, despite of many difficulties. Okay, thank you, Jose, eh, for sharing. Let's continue with one more. So let me just listen now to Morena. Are you there, Morena? Hola. Hola, hola, hello. Vamos a responder, we're going to answer question nine. How long have you studied English? How long? Mm -hmm. eh, eh, for example, two months, one year, three years. Lo que llevo de la con la con el curso. How much time? What the tiempo? How much time? Quiero ver. Tendría que ser. Con el four. Okay. So I have studied English for. Four months, right? Four, sí. No, months. No. Or mes. three. Or two. Three. Um, two. Three. Or three. Oh, three. Three. <laughs> three. <laughs> three months. Okay. Three. three months. Okay. You have studied English for three months. Okay. Thank you, Morena. Is there somebody else who wants to share uh, the answers? Hay alguien más who wants to share the answers? No or yes? No? Okay, guys. So let's continue with the next part, right? So um, we have uh, this activity. We're going to have this activity. We have done this activity before about, um, about the videos. So let's read this information. Can you help me? Yeah, let's see, Jose Leonardo, can you help me with this reading? Can you help me to read? South America, uh, people usually like others to be on time, but for some occasion, it's okay to be a little late. For example, People should always arrive on time or a little early for a busing appointment, work, or a class. Okay, continue. How, oh, I'm sorry. However, however, uh, when they meet a friend or when someone invites them them to dinner it is okay to arrive five to ten minutes late for an informal party it is okay to arrive uh, fighting to uh, 30 minutes late okay thank you jose okay so we have this information right about like when people arrive late or arrive early. Okay, so let's answer some of these questions. Adonias, it says, are people usually on time for appointments, work, or a class in your country? What do you think about this question? This one. Mm -hmm. Adonias, are people usually on time? for appointments, work, or a class in your country? Teacher, I had a question. Appointment is... Is it is like a 
When you have a, like a cita, let's say, an appointment, like a reunion too. Appointment. Mm -hmm. Like, a, for example, mm -hmm. reunion, like a cita or, or something like you have to meet with others. Okay. Yes, Alpha, something to add? To add? Uh, mm -hmm. La pregunta, are people usually? Oh, pregunta. yes. Mm -hmm. Sí, yes, that one. Uh, mm -hmm. I usually mm -hmm. uh, appointment uh, uh, every day. Oh, you uh, are usually on time. Usted siempre está on, on time, right? Is the moment, yes. <laughs> I'm usually on time for appointment. for appointment, maybe an appointment. In my work. In your work, right? Your work. You are a very punctual person. Okay, or work. But talking general, Alpha, talking general, hablando en general, do you think that the people arrive early? Temprano or late to the appointments? Early. After early oh, early mm -hmm. after office. Okay, but. Yes, para diversión. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pero en general, for example, talking general, las personas son puntuales o llegan late, uh, llegan tarde okay. a, los, a los appointments o al trabajo. Hey, late. <laughs> late For traffic because of traffic that's right because of traffic that's right yes and even a veces quisiéramos llegar temprano but como alfa dice right por el tráfico because of no es traffic. la distancia es el tráfico it's yes it's it's traffic yes okay okay yes right Okay, let's review these words, right? Vamos a hacer un review de estas palabras. We have some occasions, right? Occasions. Mm -hmm. Tenemos el verbo llegar, arrive, arrive. Por ejemplo, en, en, en la oración que nos estaba Alfa, podemos decir, I always, right? I always arrive early to my work. O también podemos decir, I always arrive five minutes before. Okay, I always arrive five minutes. Cinco minutos antes, right? Five minutes before to my work. That can be an expression, a sentence. Then we have business, business, business. Eso significa negocios, right? Business. Then we have the number, recordemos que el number 15. 15, right? So it is más largo, 15. And then we have the number 30, 30. It's short. Sonido corto, 30. Okay, I don't know if you have questions to this information, questions. No? Okay. So let's see what else do we have. And uh, we have this topic. Todavía haciendo un review del present perfect, right? Tenemos, we have four and since. This one it means, for example, por, if you want to translate it right. Por. And since, since. Desde. Desde. Por ejemplo, yo he estado aquí desde las 5 de la mañana, right? I have uh, been here since 5 a.m., let's say. Okay? Entonces, desde un time, right? O desde un lugar también, right? 
Okay, so let's see the examples. It says, tenemos la pregunta, how long did you live in Thailand? ¿Cuánto tiempo viviste? ¿Por cuánto tiempo viviste en Thailand? Yo viví ahí por dos años, two years. It was wonderful. Okay, we have four, tenemos una cantidad, right, two. Then we have, how long have you lived in Miami? ¿Cuánto tiempo, por cuánto has vivido in Miami? He vivido ahí por six months. I love it. He vivido ahí por seis meses. Then we have conscience, right? I lived here desde el año pasado. Okay, tenemos algunas expressions. Usted puede decir, bueno, me confundo un poco. Entonces, estas expresiones nos van a ayudar a saber cuándo utilizar el for con since. Por ejemplo, for lo podemos utilizar con una cantidad. We have two weeks, por ejemplo, two years, two months, a few months, several years, and a long time. Eso nos indica una cantidad. We have expressions with things. Tenemos la hora since, right? Since 45, since last weekend. Y tenemos todavía los años since 2015, etc. And expression, since elementary schools. So, do you have questions about this topic? Mm -hmm. No questions? Yo. Yeah, um, Yelma. Estoy algo confundido. Este, el, el for es como para corto. O co, ¿De qué forma yo podría diferenciarlo en el aspecto de tiempo? El for y el... Y el, y el, y el things. 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 Ok, el for usualmente va acompañado de una cantidad. De, de tiempo, right? Por ejemplo, tenemos dos, seis, o por muchos uh -huh. días, esa es una cantidad. En cambio, el since sí. lo podemos utilizar ya sea con la hora eh, uh -huh. y con ese tipo de expresiones. Por ejemplo, no podemos decir, eh, digamos, oh, oh, no, tiene que darle sentido a la, a la oración, right? Sí. Ok, más que todo eso. Por ejemplo, una, se escucharía raro si usted dijera since two weeks. Ok, so depende del contexto, right? That you have to apply. Más que todo, si quiere decir por tres años, por cinco años, por varios meses, you can use for. Pero si usted quiere decir, por ejemplo, desde el año pasado, desde 1997, desde las 6 de la tarde, vamos a utilizar el since. Mm, yeah. mm -hmm. That is, if you want to like, sí, a veces entiendo que nos podemos confundir, sí, but sí. lo que ayuda es como decir, por ejemplo, si yo le digo, yo he, he, he probado las pupusas, digamos, desde el año pasado, ¿qué voy a utilizar? For or since? Since. Uh -huh. So, yes. that is like uh, key. El contexto. El contexto, that's right. The context. Okay. So, okay. Let's practice, right? Vamos a practicar. So, we have Pam was in Central America. What can we use for or since, guys? Since. Pam was in Central America. Mm. Someone oh. said four, oh. right? Que nos da una cantidad. Si se fijan acá tenemos a month, right? Un mes, por un. Right? Estuvo en Central America por un mes. Ok. So, so the next one. I've been a college student. Since. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I've been a college student. Four. Okay. Uh -huh, yes. That is going to be four. Four. Casi four. For almost four years. Si le pongo el since, diría desde casi. Does it have sense? No, right. So it is going to be four. So number three, uh, we have Hiroshi has been at work. Tenemos una hora, right? We have time. Since. Since, that's right. Since, right? Okay. Si tuviéramos acá, por ejemplo, eh, la expresión, imaginémonos que aquí dice three hours. Okay, three hours. Y la oración es I have been here. ¿Qué podemos utilizar? What can we use in this case? Since or for. He estado aquí. For. Mm -hmm. For. That's right. For. He estado aquí por tres horas, right? It's a period por of time. Horas. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's. Lo que tenemos que ver es la expression, the time expression we have here. Okay, that is something like so then we have the next one. I haven't gone to a party. For. Mm -hmm. There you have the expression, right? Aquí las tenemos. Two, four. Okay, then we have Josh lived in Venezuela. For. Mm -hmm. For two years, right? For two years. And we have my parents have been on vacation. Jeez. That's right, that's right. the lunes, right? What about the next one? Natalie was engaged to Danny. Four. Mm -hmm. Four. Four. Pat and Valeria have been best friends. This is an expression, right? It's an expression. Sing. Yes, sing, sing. Okay, you see? Lo que tenemos que ver es el context, right? El contexto. And the, uh, the expression you have. Based on that, you're going to choose between scenes and four. Okay, questions? No questions? No. Okay, that's good. Let's continue and uh, we're going to watch a video and uh, we're going to answer this section, right? Let's watch the video. Second. I will share the activity in the chat box. Okay, let's watch the video. Can I take your order? I'm waiting for my brother, but he hasn't arrived yet. Oh, okay, I'll come back. Thank you. Linda. 
I'm really sorry. It's okay, Jacob. I've only been here for a little while. Is everything all right? Yes, it is now. But you won't believe what just happened to me. What happened? Well, first of all, I was late leaving my apartment, so I had to hurry. Then, just after I got in my car, I saw my neighbor, Mrs. Flanagan. She had a heavy trash can, and she couldn't move it very easily, so I helped her. Hey, Mrs. Flanagan, wait, let me help you with that. Well, that was kind of you. Yeah, but right after, there was a problem. When I went back to my car, I couldn't get in. Did you lock your keys in the car? Can you believe it? Oh, no. Well, what happened next? First, I tried to call you, but I got your voicemail. Hi, this is Linda. I can't take your call right now, but leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Then, I called a locksmith. And did he open your car door for you? Yeah. Great, there you go. Okay, this is yours. Great, thank you so much. Have a good day. Thanks, thanks again. Okay, see you around. All right, see you later. How long did it take? About two minutes. So I paid him and came here. How much did it cost you? Oh, it wasn't very expensive. It cost only... What is it? My wallet. It's still in the car. I put it in the glove compartment. Don't worry, Jacob. You've had a hard day. I haven't taken you to dinner in a long time. This is my treat. No, I insist. Wait right here. I'll be right... Is everything okay? Yeah. I can't remember where I parked my car. Okay, that can happen, right? Okay, so we have the exercise. First one, let's do it together. Just a second. In this exercise, we are going to write the sentences, right? Based on the picture. Okay, let's do. Lo he cortado, teacher. Oh. No sé si... Sí, todos me escuchan Solo cortado. Yo. Oh. ¿Sí? Yo le escucho bien. Ah, ok, ok. Puede ser que sea el internet. Thank you, José. Ok, vamos a hacer this exercise. We're going to work in this exercise. Here you have the sentences, right? So based on the picture and the order of the events, we're going to write the sentences. Vamos a utilizar las oraciones. De acuerdo a los eventos, right? Okay, we have the first one that it is Jacob noticed that his neighbor needed help. That is the first event. So what is the second event? ¿Cuál sería el segundo evento? What is the second one? Um, Jacob saw his keys inside the car. Oh, yes, Jacob. Okay, we have that Jacob. So, right, I'm going to write he, so his keys, right, inside. And what happened next? What happened next, guys? Mm -hmm. That's the, the, that the second event, right? So what, what is the next event? Hmm? What is the next one? Jacob tried to call Linda. Yeah, that's right. That is going to be the third one, right? Jacob tried, tried to call Linda. Muy bien. That is number three, right? Next will happen after that. What is the next one, guys? Mm -hmm. What's the next one? Yes, guys, what is the next event? 
Este, yeah. Jacob told Linda the story. Mm. No. No. La siguiente ya. Ah, no. Es que ya está una, Jacob. What happens after Jacob tried to call Linda? Mm -hmm. Do you want to watch the video? You ¿Cuál want to sería, watch the video? This, ¿Cuál sería la siguiente? Sería entonces. Jacob told Linda the story. The story, dice que no. Mm -mm. Told Linda the story. Mm, that is the last one, right? This one. When they are telling the story. Oh, what about this one? Oh, that can be right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jalman. Perdón. Eso está viendo como que. Bueno, yo me confundí. Okay, that, that was a good point, Morena, right? He was, he told, vamos a, let's see. This one, right? Jacob told Linda, right? Story. Linda, the story. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the next one, Jacob, Jacob realized. Uh -huh. That's right. Jacob didn't realized he didn't. Well, yes, he didn't have well, his huh? wallet. Well. Right. And what about the name? This one. Jacob paid the document. That's right. Jacob paid the document. Right. Okay. There we have the events. Right. This is going to be number four. Right. Number four. Then we have number five. Right. Five and the last one six. That's right. Okay, we did it, guys. Okay, now you are going to practice, right? The listening section. Let's practice this. But before going, if we have time, we are going to write the story. Vamos a escribir la historia, right? Acerca de lo que pasó. For that, you are going to use first, after that, and next. Then and finally, vamos a, a contar, right, lo que sucedió. If you want, podemos ver el video one more time para que ustedes tomen apuntes and, uh, y cuenten la historia. Ok, podemos empezar, eh, por ejemplo, first, el, ¿qué es lo que él vio, right? First, Jacob saw his neighbor and he decided to help him. No se mira la pantalla, pantalla yes, negra yes. se ve. Ahorita, ahorita. Just a moment. Vamos a ver. Okay. There you have. Can I take your order? I'm waiting for my brother, but he hasn't arrived yet. Oh, okay. I'll come back. Thank you. Linda, I'm really sorry. It's okay, Jacob. I've only been here for a little while. Is everything all right? Yes, it is now. But you won't believe what just happened to me. What happened? Well, first of all, I was late leaving my apartment, so I had to hurry. Then, just after I got in my car, I saw my neighbor, Mrs. Flanagan. She had a heavy trash can and she couldn't move it very easily, so I helped her. Hey, Mrs. Flanagan, wait, let me help you with that. Oh, that was kind of you. Yeah, but 
right after there was a problem. When I went back to my car, I couldn't get in. Did you lock your keys in the car? Can you believe it? Oh no. Well, what happened next? First, I tried to call you, but I got your voicemail. Hi, this is Linda. I can't take your call right now, but leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Then, I called a locksmith. And did he open your car door for you? Yeah. Great, there you go. Okay, this is yours. Great, thank you so much. Have a good day. Thanks, thanks again. Okay, see you around. All right, see you later. How long did it take? About two minutes. So I paid him and came here. How much did it cost you? Oh, it wasn't very expensive. It cost only... What is it? My wallet. It's still in the car, and I put it in the glove compartment. Don't worry, Jacob. You've had a hard day. I haven't taken you to dinner in a long time. This is my treat. No, I insist. Wait right here. I'll be right... Is everything okay? Yeah. I can't remember where I parked my car. <laughs> hey, guys. Now that you have a better picture of the... of the video... I want you to tell me what happened, right? So I'm going to share with you like some of the phrases that you can use. And let's share it. See some phrases that we can use or if you um, have some or have questions about anyone. There it is. Okay. So for example, we can use the word first, first um, Jacob was in his car. Then he saw his neighbor. And then you start to uh, Tell the story. Usando las palabras que ya eh, les compartí. Por ejemplo, tenemos first, primero, luego tenemos then, que significa luego, eh, luego next también, que significa siguiente, o after that también. We can use that. Uh, I know you have questions about the activity. If not, I let you work. No questions? My preguntas, guys. I'm going to give you this time for you to write the story. Okay, let's work and then you share with me the story. Hey, is there somebody who wants to read the, the video activity, guys? ¿Hay alguien que ya lo haya terminado? 
to who wants to write or tell the story. No? No? Oh, one minute, two minutes more, right? Let's see what we can have. Okay, guys, we are about to finish. I don't know if somebody finished the activity. No sé si alguien terminó la actividad. That or who wants to share the activity? No, no one. Okay, guys. So as you can see, this is the last class, right? This is the last class. Solo quiero felicitarles. Because you did it right, made it. Terminaron este módulo, quiero felicitarlos. And motivarlos también to continue studying English, right? So, voy a despedir de ustedes. And thank you so much. No sé si alguien tiene algún comentario. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you, Alpha. Thank you, guys. Good. Nice to meet you all to you guys. A ustedes, guys. Thank, Thank you so you, much. Teacher. See you. <laughs> and yeah, well, see bye you. Guys. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, Alpha. Partners. <laughs> <laughs> Partners, too. Have a good night. Good night.